वेलकम बैक एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अ पैलेंड्रोम प्रॉब्लम वेयर द इनपुट्स आर ऑफ द फॉर्म डब्ल्यू सी डब्ल्यू आर ओवर द अल्फाबेट्स ए कॉमा बी कॉमा सी सो व्हाट आर वी वेटिंग फॉर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so the inputs we are having in this particular problem is in the form of w c w r that is a word followed by c symbol followed by the reverse of that particular word so it's basically a palindrome we are all already used to what is what exactly are palindromes and we already know how to design a general machine a uh, general turing machine for a palindrome that we have done in our previous video so if you have uh, understood the concept of my previous video then this particular tutorial will be a cake walk for you if you have not gone through my previous video kindly check back the uh, video just before this and you will come to know what exactly are turing machines and how we can construct one for uh, palindromes this is also a question based on palindrome but in this particular case the question is restricted that is we can only ac accept the inputs which are of the form for example a b a c followed by a b a that is a word then c followed by reverse of the word so this is how the question is framed in the previous case there was no concept of a uh, element c in between but in this case we are having a restriction that we have to uh, follow so let's see the diagram the things will be very clear to you you can see the diagram is quite similar to the previous one i would say it's 90% similar to the previous one just a few changes over here in state q6 and state qf we have added a state over here q6 so what is its significance let's have a look we are initially going to start with the q0 state uh, if i accept if i encounter an input a i will accept it replace it by a blank symbol and keep moving to the right so for example uh, let's take uh, this particular example a b c b a uh, which are flanked by uh, blank symbols on either side so if the input is a over here it's in q0 state i will replace this a with a blank and keep moving to the right so this particular case is satisfied over here so now the machine is in the q1 state in q1 if i encounter anything either a b or c i will simply ignore it and keep moving to the right so this will happen i will keep moving to the right until my machine encounters a blank symbol once it encounters a blank symbol it will keep it as it is and start moving to the left this is what we have done in the previous question also so while moving to the left i will try to find the very first a because while starting uh, reading the input i have i had encountered an a which i had converted into a blank so while coming back i will i would do the same thing i would try to find an a only and convert that into a blank so this is what i have done over here convert the a into a blank and then start moving keep moving to the left in between whatever inputs you encounter you will simply bypass those inputs until you reach the blank symbol on the leftmost side this time once you encounter a blank you will follow this particular transition that is you will go back to the q0 state and uh, you will keep moving to the right that is blank replace it by blank and keep moving to the right this entire process will be uh, continued till we have something like this till we have only a blank symbol left in my input tape whatever be the number of uh, sorry a c symbol left in between uh, the input tape followed by blanks on either side so this is my utmost uh, important step because this is how it is this is where it is different from the previous question in this case we have added this constraint of a c symbol so once i have read all the inputs from the input tape and i am left with only a c symbol i will simply convert that c into a blank and keep moving to the right until i reach the next blank symbol so if i encounter a blank symbol in this q6 state i will uh, stop the machine over there i will replace this blank with a blank only stop the machine over there and indicate that whatever i have read so far that was a palindrome for example if i had started uh, reading an input something like this it is also a palindrome b a c a b so i will now start reading it and this time the machine will go to the q4 state that is instead of q1 state the machine will now be in the q4 state so i will replace this b 
with a blank and the machine will now point at this a which will be now in the q4 state so the entire thing will be repeated this time but this time it will be following the lower path and not the upper path because the uh, input has started from a b and not uh, from an a so this is how we have to solve this particular problem the first half that is the upper half is concerned with the uh, inputs starting with a and the lower half is concerned with the inputs starting with b it is exactly similar to the previous case uh, so now let's just see the uh, simulation step by step simulation of how we have to solve it I have taken an example A, B, C, B, A. So I will be starting with Q0. Once I uh, uh, just have a look at the diagram on the right hand side, it, it will make things very clear to you. Uh, once I encounter an A in Q0, what should I do? I should replace it with a blank and keep moving to the right. Now the state is Q1. So in Q1, if I encounter a B, what has to be done according to the diagram? Yes, we should replace it. Uh, sorry, we should keep it as it is and move the pointer to the right. Hence, the pointer will keep on moving to the right, but the states will remain same. That is Q1. So I have to continue doing this until I encounter a blank symbol in Q1. So once I encounter a blank symbol in Q1, what should I do? According to the diagram, I should keep the blank symbol as it is and start moving to the left. The machine will also move to the state Q2 this time. So once you reach Q2 state with an input A, what has to be done? Yes, that is what we were trying to achieve because we had started with an A. So we were trying to find out an A from the reverse side also so that it satisfies the condition of a palindrome. That is, if I start with an A, the string should also end with an A. That is what we have done over here. So once I found the A, I will replace that A with a blank over here and keep on moving to the left this time the machine has entered into the q3 state so once i enter into the q3 state i will bypass every other character while moving to the left until i reach a blank once i encounter a blank i will keep it as it is and start returning to the initial state by moving to the right this is how we have completed one cycle over here now we will uh, repeat the entire cycle with the strings starting with b this time so the machine will obviously follow the lower path and the entire process will be repeated until and unless i encounter a c in the q0 state once I encounter a C in the Q0 state, what has to be done? Yes, it's very clear. The inputs on the left hand side and right hand side have exhausted. Now I'm left with only a C symbol. So I will replace that C with a blank according to my diagram and move into the Q6 state. Once I enter the Q6 state, the machine will be uh, fully sure that whatever inputs uh, were present in the input tape has been read completely and now it can directly move into the final state. So hence from Q6 on input B the machine jumps into the QF state with an indication to stop. This is how we construct this particular logic of a palindrome with restrictions of WC WR. So just cross check with the transition table which I have got over here. Uh, match your answers with this particular value so that you will get a complete solution to this problem without any mistake so this is how this is what we have achieved after the end of all the transitions so thank you so much for sticking uh, to this particular video i hope you uh, understood how exactly palindromes differ when there are restrictions imposed on them and when there are no restrictions so diagrams are quite similar uh, I would say 90% similar except the few states which have been uh, added over here. Otherwise, the entire problem is same. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like my channel, do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates on whatever uh, videos I post on this particular playlist or on different uh, topics from different areas of technology. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.